This cafe in Dodoma city center has only been open for a year, but there's rarely an empty table. Its manager says a growing population and the government's plans for the city made investing here an obvious choice. We came here to invest because uh, the demands of Dodoma population currently needs uh, good things like this one. Yes. So I hope after the one year, two year, three year, we step ahead. After Tanzania gained independence more than 50 years ago, then President Julius Nerere declared Dodoma the capital in 1973. Since then, the switch from the port city of Dar es Salaam has stalled due to a lack of money and political will. 28,000 civil servants who work in dozens of government ministries will be forced to move, but many of their new offices aren't yet built. It's important that we move to the center of the country. It's easy, you know, it's easy uh, even at, at in, in administration and, and, and everything. So we think we should move to the Doma. The parliament building is already in Dodoma. However, critics say poor education and medical services in the city will make the move for thousands of Tanzanians difficult. Only a third of Dodoma is developed and historically there's been little economic activity here. The government is hoping the move to Dodoma will help the economy in central Tanzania. The relocation is estimated to cost more than $700 million. How the government will get the money is uncertain. We'll have to raise the money. You can't get enough resources to do everything, but you know, it's, uh, uh, you, you, you prioritize everything. So as, because we have decided, we raise the money and, and move to the dome. Dar es Salaam is considered now a colonial era capital. People here are happy the government's going elsewhere. Something disturbance like the disturbances like traffic jams will be solved. Now the services, governmental services, to reach easily to the people. While Prime Minister Kasim Majaliwa has already moved his office to the new capital, President John Magafuli is expected to wait for another three years. That's when the biggest government upheaval in Tanzanian history is due to be completed. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Tanzania.